my first trip to Australia, and we got we have a day off, and I'm on the beach, walking on the beach, on the beach, and what happens is I'm work I'm walking with somebody who I use as a videographer and my assistant at the time, and I'm working. I'm saying, man, y'all help me to get together these. You know, I got five Grammy nominations. I got to get together at least three speeches, right? And I can freestyle the last two, you know? <laughs> well, I worked together and got, we worked together and I got together like two and a half speeches. I figured I could free up the, the last part of the third one. So we good. Fast forward, it's Grammy night. I come in my cream suit. I got my cane on. <laughs> my mother's with me the first time she ever came to an award show of mine, Kanye and his mom are there, John Legend and his mom, good music is in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, before we got there, as we were riding, they told me two of the awards had been announced, and I didn't get those two. I was like, okay, well, I got three speeches, I'm good, three awards. <laughs> straight, up straight. So we sit in our seats, they announced the next two. Um, in between that, John Legend gets some awards, Kanye get a couple awards. I'm like, we're getting there, we're getting there. Well, they announced two of mine, and I didn't get those two either. I'm like, man, I got to put all these in one speech. Oh, so they going to turn the music on on me, for sure. You know? So it's, it's, they announced in the best rap album. You know, the Kanye turned around like, you got this, yeah, it's, you know, that's right about it. <laughs> like, yeah, I got this. <laughs> well, Ludacris um. is, is the person that's coming to, to you know, announce the, the winners, the winner, the nominees. And he always has been someone who has told me personally and told, you know, said out in public that I was one of his favorite artists in the guy and inspired him and that he was just, you know, love what I did and just, he would tell me about old songs I, that I did. I'm like, man, look, cause that's dope. I felt good about that. So I thought it was serendipitous that he was coming out. <laughs> and, uh, and, no. yeah. and as he started, as he opened the envelope, he was, I could see the joy. You know, that I was gonna get it, so. so. <laughs> so like, he was like, yo, he opened it up, was like, yeah. This is my man right here. This is my guy, y'all. He deserves this, man. Like, this is the dude. This is what I'm talking about. This is it. So I start rising up by my seat. They say, give it up for Kanye West. So I'm up already. I'm just getting that guy. You know, that night we had the Grammy family party. Everybody was carrying their awards. All I, all I had was the champagne bottle. <laughs> and uh, you know, I believed. I believed in myself. I believed in my path. I believed that I would get those awards, but I didn't get those awards. But I believed in it. But once you find your path, then. Believe in your path. That's not the only things you have to do. You have to live it. And what I mean by live it is, when you live things, you experience things, and everything that you experience is not gonna be go your way. Everything that you wanted at that time is not gonna happen at that time. Some things will take time. Some things may not even be meant for you. But I believe I was gonna get those Grammys. And I didn't get those Grammys, and that next morning, Kanye and I were talking on the phone, and I was like, man, let's go back in the studio and go hard and go get, you know, I'm, I'm ready to come with it, like, uh, let's go. And he was like, yeah, let's go. And we went back in the studio and recorded Fighting Forever and got a Grammy off a song called Southside, and I never would have thought they got it. <laughs> but no matter what, I'm using the Grammys to let you know that no matter what, you will be challenged. Everything that you want to happen may not happen right then and there. But if you believe, you know it will happen. 
and you have to live your path with belief. So as you live your path, know that you will experience these challenges. Challenges sometimes of disappointments, challenges in health. Sometimes you might be dealing with something that you don't even tell anybody about. You're going through health issues. You might be challenged like spiritually. You might be challenged economically, like just getting your tuition paid and just trying to get your... <laughs> will be challenged, but know that you will be able to get things paid and things will be taken care of. You just have to believe in it and find those ways to do it. And living the, living the experience and living your path means you will be challenged. You may lose family members. You may be dealing with death of, of loved ones. You may be dealing with breakups. But these things, these challenges, are really just, just there for you to grow. They're there for you to become a better human being. You know, I always say you turn obstacles into possibles. You turn obstacles into possibles. That means anything that comes into your way that you feel is not good for you, you got to make a positive out of it. You got to see something. There's something in there that, that you can get out of it that's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for your growth, and good for your um, evolution, good for you to become a better person. And you know, like just recently, when I told y'all about my cousin who I wrote my first rap with, just recently, well, it feels recently, it was two years ago, he died in a motorcycle accident. And, you know, when I got that, that call, and I couldn't believe that, you know, Angela had died, and I just didn't seem real to him. And I was trying, I wasn't mad at God, but I was just asking God, well, why it happened? And I didn't get every answer right then and there. But I started looking at things and I was like, what good can I get out of this? My cousin died, you know, and I mean, some of the things that I did get out of it, I eventually started learning as I looked. And I looked at his life. And as they were, we were at the funeral and they were showing clips of him in his life. He, would, he was doing all types of things that I would never imagine, you know, just doing. Like, I just looked at how he enjoyed his life. He enjoyed his life and, and was zip lining and surfing and doing things he did. He black. <laughs> so, I looked at Ajane's life and I said, man, the lesson I got out of that was just, man, you got to enjoy and experience life. You got to enjoy and experience your life. Even while you're working hard and doing all these things to achieve, you have to enjoy. That's why it's best you find something that you really love to do. Well, you know, that was the lesson I got out of that. But just letting you know that there will be things that will come into your life that you don't expect, that will have, that will cause you to feel like pain, and feel hurt, disappointment. But without struggle, there is no progress. Frederick Douglass said, without struggle, there is no progress. So if you want to grow and want to be achieve greatness, then you have to know that these things are the things that will help you to rise to that level. They, they will help you rise to that level. I have a quote that I'd like to um, say to you all that I get from James in the Bible. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, and I like to add in sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith develops perseverance.